Uh, today I am uh, representing the Australian Passive House Association. Uh, it's an association that's been around for a few years now, uh, but there's been some really uh, strong active growth in this space of Passive House, uh, particularly in the last couple of years. The Passive House vision, and Darren also touched on that earlier, it's not all about energy, and I think that's a huge misconception that people think, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's those greenies, they just want to save the world. But that's actually not where Passive House started. It all started with having comfortable living options with uniformly warm walls, floors and windows. Drafts, condensation and mould growth are no longer a problem. Permanent supply of fresh air with a pleasant temperature. Independence from energy price fluctuations. So yes, it is about energy, but it's certainly not the, the only focus. Financial profits from the very first year on due to up to 90% reduced heating and cooling costs and then also the climate protection due to decreased CO2 emissions of the same scale. What we've seen elsewhere, where there's been real success in the passive house market, is not a bunch of scientists or engineers or people with a vested interest in passive house just because they're geeks. It's been architects that have driven the process, not because you guys are architects, I'm telling you that, it's fact. The only way it happens is if it's integrated early on in the design process.